Sending Dick Durbin packing will get the nation's attention. It will rock the status quo. And That's the biggest reason I'm running for the U.S. Senate. Dick Durbin's utter failure. And Dick Durbin will never change. He spent 32 years in Washington voting for virtually every tax and regulation known to mankind. Is enough. Enough of borrowing money from China for projects that we don't need. Enough of politicians telling us which doctor we have to see, which light bulbs we can buy, and which new tax we're going to have to pay. Illinois. The American people want smaller, smarter, more productive government, and we're going to give it to them. Unlike my opponent who spent his career in government, I've spent my career in the real world as well. We've seen the damage that career politicians like Dick Durbin and Mike Madigan have done to our country. That's the choice in a nutshell in this election. Do you want a career politician who made a career out of taking money out of your pocket and restricting your freedoms, or will you go with someone who understands how to make money and how to make the economy work for everyone? I'll repeal and replace Obamacare with a more sensible, market-driven health care reform that will restore the confidence and trust of the American people. I'll work to dramatically simplify our tax code and lower corporate and individual tax rates for nearly all Americans. Successful. I believe I understand the importance of ending the death tax so that we can pass our family farms on to the next generation without having to mortgage them to the hilt to pay the government for taxes. I'll work tirelessly to make sure that we get the answers we deserve on the IRS scandal. It was wrong when Richard Nixon attempted to use the IRS against political opponents, and it's equally wrong when Richard Durbin does the same thing. I'll work tirelessly to balance our budget and to make the federal government smaller, smarter, and more geared toward growth and opportunity. People are tired of Congress spending money it simply does not have, and that has got to end. I'll work hard to build support for federal term limits. If eight years is good enough for the President of the United States, eight years should be good enough for Congress as well. We're going to be meeting with a number of other African-American community leaders and ministers over the next few weeks, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to announce several more endorsements from that community. There's precious little we can do to control that violence except help people get jobs. And to get jobs, they have to get a better education. We've got to focus on those things. We've got to reduce the violence that's going on in Chicago. It will benefit the entire state. I, I happen to believe very much in user fees and to the degree that we can, at a reasonable cost, tailor user fees to help with those infrastructure improvements, um, I think it makes a lot of sense. Uh, tollways are a good example. I, I'm basically opposed to increasing taxes wherever we can. However, we do recognize that we're seeing more, if, I'm fine, I'm fine. We are seeing more fuel efficient cars, which means they're burning fewer gallons of gas. And at some point we may have to look at or consider whether or not there needs to be adjustment. I realize how destructive extreme regulation can be. If a company can demonstrate that they're producing a product that is GMO free, let them put that on the label. Let them charge a higher price. If consumers want to pay it, fine. But to go the other way and have the government try to tell us that we have to put on a label that this product contains GMOs, I think is overreaching. Well, uh, look, I don't think this is uh, perfect legislation, but I think it's reasonable legislation. It, it helps to provide uh, insurance, crop insurance, safety margin for families who need that. 
I am a very, very strong proponent of trade agreements, of removing the barriers, of removing the restrictions, increasing our worldwide trade because the voters of Illinois deserve an opportunity to hear both sides of the issues. They deserve an opportunity to hear his best ideas and an opportunity to hear my best ideas. Almost all of us have um, ancestors who are immigrants, parents, grandparents, great-grandparents who came to this country from other countries. Immigration provides uh, a great boost to our economy. It brings risk takers. It brings entrepreneurial spirit. It's great for our country, and I strongly support immigration. But I support legal immigration. I support securing our borders, and I oppose blanket amnesty because that will only make the problem worse.